The purpose of this module is to point you to potentially useful resources for an invention project. First, this includes advice on reaching out to individuals and organizations for help. Second, there are resources available through MIT and the Lemelson MIT program. The link will be provided at the end with a more exhaustive list of resources. While inventors are knowledgeable in many disciplines, they also rely on others' expertise. Throughout the invention process, your team may need to access information quickly. First, there is the knowledge and skills already available to the team members. Next, you need to be ready to ask for help from others in your community, whether it is nearby in your school and town or through your inventor community. This network can be built through the completion of your project and by the granting agency that funds your invention project. Developing a workflow. Early in the process, create a list of potential needs for your team and the invention project. Make a system to organize the various leads and avenues of help that you will pursue. Similar to the scheduling and planning that you will do for your invention project, an organized system will help you get the resources you need to be successful in an efficient manner. Before you engage with outside help, make sure you do basic research. For instance, understand the person's job and role and understand the company and business. To make the cold calling process easier, create boilerplate texts and scripts as a standard for your introductions. Customize as necessary. Here are example questions to address. You may come up with more as you develop this. Who are you? Who is your team? What is your invention? What is the story behind it? How can they help? What's the call to action? While you may select a few primary spokespersons, anyone on the team should be capable of making a cold call. If your request is technical in nature, and these spokespersons are not, have a member of the technical group on hand to answer questions. Always be professional. Once a rapport is established, personalize as needed. Express your gratitude through a quick email within 24 hours of your interaction and consider a handwritten card soon after, depending on the nature of the meeting. If you haven't received a response within a certain time period, follow up as necessary. On one hand, they may be very busy and need a polite reminder. On the other hand, you don't want to be too forceful. See if there is someone else who can make an introduction for you. Ask adult mentors for advice on connecting with the people of interest. Also, as you make progress on your invention, be sure to update your network about major milestones accomplished and progress you've made. People like hearing about your stories after they have helped you out. Budget time to develop a relationship with your potential contacts. Don't anticipate being able to secure help from someone in a short period of time from when you first make contact. Potential contacts may be caught during a busy period of work. Allow time for you to share your story with them and for them to cultivate interest. Even if there is not an immediate opportunity to work together, maintain the connections so that you are ready when the time comes. Here are ideas about things you could ask of from individuals or organizations in helping you with your invention. Mentor the team in a specific way, for example, financial, technical, communications, or team management. See the team's prototype for a technical review. View a team presentation and give feedback. Host the team at the company for a field trip. Offer summer internships. Provide training and career advice. The Lemelson MIT program staff may know people in your community who might offer assistance. Here are ways to think about it. The connection could be that you are located in the same area or that your invention has some similar characteristics with their portfolio of work. The connection could be with what they used to work on, 
when they were involved with the Lemelson MIT programs and initiatives, or what they are working on now. Invent teams are teams of high school students, educators, and mentors that receive grants of up to $10,000 each to invent technological solutions to real world problems. On the Invent Teams website, take a look at the former Invent Teams located across the United States. The Lemelson MIT program has various award and prize winners and finalists over the past two decades. View the winners circle to learn more. There are many resources related to MIT. Here are a few examples. Sometimes you may just need to access knowledge and not need to talk to a person directly. Consider MITx, MIT's participation in the edX consortium, one of the major massive online open course systems. Also, MIT has OpenCourseWare, a repository of MIT class archives compiled over the last decade. Many archived classes have video lectures and other useful materials available. 2009 Product Engineering Processes is the undergraduate senior capstone class in MIT's Department of Mechanical Engineering. There are many useful invention resources, including summaries of past year's projects. Here is a link to a Lemelson MIT program webpage with resources. Remember, inventors are resourceful. Don't be held back from making your idea real. If you don't have all the answers, and you probably won't, reach out and find the resources that you need to answer your questions and get unstuck. Invest time at the beginning to plan so that you can effectively and efficiently build your invention network. This was produced by the Lemelson MIT program. The Lemelson MIT program celebrates outstanding inventors and inspires young people to pursue creative lives and careers through invention. It is funded by the Lemelson Foundation, based in Portland, Oregon, and administered by the School of Engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts. For more information on Invent Teams and JV Invent Teams, the Youth Invention Grants from the Lemelson MIT program, visit lemelson.mit.edu.